It is said that the only constant in life is change. We can see that throughout history in our world, in its climate, and in the biodiversity of life. In this iteration of Wicked Problems Wolfpack Solutions, we'll explore global change. This means not only climate change, but our changing world, changing demographics, and how we as a society will need to change to meet the wicked problem of changing climate. We've put together an amazing course for you to explore and engage with. The information you will hear is the most up-to-date and is presented by experts working in the very fields they are discussing. However, as is the case with science and research, we may gain new insights and data tomorrow that changes what we know or how we explain the world around us. Science and research is often framed by people outside of science as either 100% correct or 100% false, and that is not how science works. As a matter of fact, science testing builds in uncertainty and unpredictability of outcomes. One of the things we both love about science is that science is flexible and amendable to changes in technology, data, and understanding. This is not a weakness, but a strength, and we encourage everyone to listen, think, ask questions, and come to reasoned decisions based on the evidence and data. Each of you has brought your own experiences and stories to this course and to NC State, and that may affect what you hear and what you ultimately take away from this course. Please keep this in mind as you hear new information or ideas that challenge your existing beliefs and stay curious as you continue your journey of being a lifelong learner. Our first live stream event this Thursday, July 1st, features Dr. Katie Mack, a prominent physicist and theoretical cosmologist. In this live conversation, Dr. Mack will look at the grand scale of the universe to share insights on the changing planet we call home. In his podcast, Dr. Rob Dunn tells the story of human change from all the way back to our first ancestors up through the rapidly accelerating change of the present. Dr. Kate Grossman, an archaeologist, and Dr. Adam Tarando, an ecologist with the U.S. Geological Survey, look closely at urban development, both past and present. Dr. Grossman unearths portions of ancient cities that can reveal secrets about how past civilizations adapted to their environments. Dr. Tarando examines various modes of transportation in cities and uses models to predict future scenarios such as the megalopolis of Charlanta, a massive continuous urban-suburban sprawl that would cover much of the southeast from North Carolina to Georgia by the end of the century. Author and professor John Kessel shares how science fiction can help us imagine the future and looks at Kim Stanley Robinson's The Ministry for the Future as a realistic portrayal of our world in the next few decades. We then hear from the author himself as he shares insights from writing the book and about the hard science he used to back up the events of the Ministry for the Future. Film studies professor Jorge Marie uses classic and contemporary films from the 20th century to explore concepts of utopia and dystopia and asks big questions about how we envision our shared future as a society. As we drill down to the here and now, North Carolina Climate Office Director Kathy Dello explains what is happening in our state and what we can expect to see in the coming years. She has traveled to every one of North Carolina's 100 counties and tells us her concerns and hopes for the state's future. This is a big week of wicked problems and we are only just getting started. Time to start watching and listening and thinking about the future.